Hello everyone. In my previous videos, we solved grade 1 Olympiad question papers for 2022. Now what we'll do, we'll start solving question papers of 2021. And the first one is IMO, that is International Mathematics Olympiad. So let's solve together. First section is logical reasoning. Question 1. Select the odd one out. Option A has 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles. Option B has 3 triangles. Option C has 4 triangles. And Option D has again 4 triangles. So now we know that our correct option or the odd one out is option B because it has 3 triangles. And the number of triangles in other options uh, is 4. Question 2. Which of the following is the shortest? Means smaller in size, smaller in height. So option A, B, C and D. We can clearly see that option C is the shortest one. So that is our right option. Question 3. Shapes dash and dash together will form a square. A square is a shape, 2D shape, which has 4 sides and 4 corners and all of these sides are equal. So we see that Q itself is a square, right? And that cannot be the right option because we have to combine 2 shapes to make 1 square. So let's do one thing. On P, if we put R, do we get a square? Yes. So shapes P and R together will form a square. Option B is correct option. Question 4. Name the shape of the shaded face of the given figure. So we need to closely see the shaded face. Uh, it has four sides. It has four corners. But two sides are equal to each other not all four and what do we call that shape it's a rectangle option c is the correct option question five book dash is at the bottom what do you mean by bottom bottom is which is near to the base at the lowest one so the one which is there at the base is q so option b that is book q is the correct option. Question 6. Which of the following figures will complete the given figure pattern? Let's see the pattern first. Uh, so the first one is guitar, violin, mouth, organ and then again guitar is coming. That means the pattern of guitar, violin, mouth, organ is repeating itself after every third figure. So, the question mark should be replaced by a violin. So, guitar, violin and mouth organ. Option A is the right option. Question 7. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on either side of analogy. Identify the relationship of the given pair and find the missing figure. So, we have to see what is the relationship on the left side of analogy. I can see a tailor and then scissor. So scissor is one of the tool of tailor. Now let's see the other side. Other side I can see a painter. So what would be the tool of a painter? It will be paintbrush. So option B is the correct option. Question 8. Two groups of dash strawberries each can be formed from the given strawberries. So we have a total number of strawberries and we have to make only two groups and find out how many strawberry goes in each group. That means we have to do the half of whatever total number of strawberries comes, right? So let's count the strawberries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. What is half of 12? It is 6. So we'll have 
six strawberries in each group one group and two group the correct answer is option b question 9 if neha's school function is on third monday of october 20xx then on which date will her annual function be held the calendar of october 20xx is already given and here it is mentioned that that the annual function is falling on third monday let's uh, first see how many mondays are there in this october 20xx so under monday column we'll count first monday would be 6th second monday would be 13th third monday would be 20th and fourth monday would be 27th october so the third monday is 28th october and the annual function will be held on 28th october option b is correct option question 10 if today is sunday then dash will be the day after tomorrow it is clearly said that today is sunday so what would be tomorrow it will be monday and what would be the day after tomorrow it will be tuesday so our correct option is option d moving to our next section that is mathematical reasoning question 11 Which of the following axes shows the number of dolls given in a in the picture? Let's first count the number of dolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve is the number of dolls. So we need to find out uh, if option A, B, C, or D, which one of these is showing the abacus figure for. 12 number let's see the first option it is 1 3 13 one at the tens place and three at the ones place so 13 option b is 22 option c is 1 2 12 and option d is 21 we got our correct answer that is option c because it has one at tens and Two at one's place, and twelve is the total number of dolls given in the picture. Question twelve: Which of the following buckets holds the minimum quantity of water? Minimum means least. So we need to find the least number, like uh, smallest number: eleven liters, twelve liters, ten liters, thirteen liters. So whether 11, 12, 10 or 13, which one of these is smallest number? It is 10. So option C is the correct option. Question 13. Which activity do you generally do at night? Do we play at night? Do we go to school at night? Do we sleep at night or do we eat breakfast at night? So option C is the correct option because we sleep at night. The rest other things we do in the daytime. Question 14. Which of the following options shows the same amount as the cost of the given dog house? So the cost of the dog house is given as 85 and we need to find the option like which matches 85. Let's see option A. So it has fifty, then plus ten sixty, plus ten seventy, plus five seventy five. So it is not equal to eighty five. Option B is twenty plus twenty. That is forty. Forty plus ten is fifty. Fifty plus five is fifty five. Again, not equal to eighty five. Option C is fifty plus twenty. That is seventy. Plus ten eighty plus five eighty five. Yes, it exactly matches the cost of the dog house. Let's see the last option. Fifty plus fifty equal to hundred. So we have already got our correct answer. That is option C. Question fifteen. Which of the following is made up of curved line? So out of these four shapes we need to find 
the shape that is made of curved line curved line is generally a curve and it is just opposite to the straight line so option a is a square and it is made up of all the straight line option b is rectangle again made up of all the straight lines option c is circle and it is made up of curved line option d again it is made up of straight lines that is triangle so option c is the correct option question 16 which of the following is the greatest greatest means the largest number but before that we have to add both the numbers in each options and then see the total uh, digit and then only we can find out which is the greatest number out of a b c and d so 30 plus 15 is equal to 45 Option B is 28 plus 12 is equal to 40. Option C is 41 plus 13 is equal to 54. And option D is 18 plus 11 that is equal to 29. So out of 45, 40, 50, 4 and 29, which is the largest number or which is the greatest number? It is 54. So option C is the correct option. Question seventeen. Dash is the longest. So there are four things: nail, hair pin, torch, and pen. And we need to find out which one has the highest length value, longest one. We see that there are some clips, and that is going to be the measurement method for us. So let's find out nail is equal to how many clips. and similar way other objects also so nail is equal to 3 clips hair pin is equal to 4 clips torch is equal to 7 clips and pen is equal to 4 clips so out of 3 4 and 7 which is the greatest number it is 7 and 7 clips equal to torch torch is the longest option a is the correct option question 18 How many crayons should be crossed to show nine crayons uncrossed? So first of all, whatever total number of crayons are given, we we are going to count that, and then we'll cross out the extra one, like beyond nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 15 in total there are 15 crayons and we need to make them nine crayons how many should i take it away i have taken away 15 14 13 12 11 and 9 total six crayons i have taken away okay and we can also calculate it in a way 9 plus 16 is equal to 15 or 15 minus 6 is equal to 9 so the correct option is option b 6 we need to cross 6 crayons out of 15 to get 9 crayons question 19 arrange the given numbers in ascending order ascending means increasing order that means keeping the lowest one first and the greatest one at the last so that it shows a growth curve so out of 45 32 18 and 21 which is the smallest number it's 18 and the next one has to be 27 then 32 and the largest number is 45 which will be kept at the last so how is the sequence it is r s q p this matches our option number b so the correct option is option b for the ascending order question 20 how many squares are there in the given figure square is a shape that has four sides and four corner and all four sides are equal so let's count 1 2 and i think that is all so we have only two squares in this given figure the correct option is option a
Now we'll move to our next section that is everyday mathematics. Question 21. There are 45 males and 32 females at a picnic spot. How many total persons are there at the picnic spot? So here the total number of person is asked. That means we have to add number of males with number of females. Let's add them. 45 plus 32 is equal to calculate it's 77 so the correct option is option c question 22 niharika catches these many butterflies in the morning she catches these many butterflies in the afternoon and these many in the evening how many how many butterflies does she catch all together and again we know that this is an addition sum so let's start counting the butterflies 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 so in total 17 butterflies were caught 8 plus 5 plus 4 is equal to 17 Correct option is option D. Question twenty three. Mehak has rupees seventy five. Which of the following objects she cannot buy? So if you have seventy five rupees, if I charge you eighty rupees for a doll, will you be able to buy it? No. So anything which is greater than seventy five, Mehak cannot buy. So we need to look for the one which costs more than seventy-five. So A is fish toy. It costs rupees seventy. Mehak can definitely buy it. The B one is the stacking toy that costs rupees sixty-five. Again, Mehak can buy it. C is book, and that costs eighty, which is higher than seventy-five. So Mehak does not. Have sufficient funds to buy rupees eighty. The D option is a unicorn, so that costs rupees fifty. Again, we can buy that. So our correct option is option C because it costs more than what Mehak has. Question twenty four. Preeti bought following bulbs from the market. Five bulbs were broken. How many bulbs were not broken? So these are the total number of bulbs, and let's break five one because those were like broken. We'll take away those five bulbs. I have taken away. So how many are left now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So option D seven is the correct option. These many bulbs were not broken. Question twenty five. Arun bought the given items. Sunflower. For rupees ten, car toy for rupees twenty-five, and an ice cream for rupees ten. How much total amount did he spend? So we need to again do the addition. Ten plus twenty-five plus ten. That is equal to rupees forty-five. Our correct option is option B. Question twenty-six. Priyam has fifteen apples. He puts them equally in three baskets. Each basket has dash apples. So now we know that there are total fifteen apples, and then we have to make group of. We have to make three groups, and we need to find out how many apples will go in each group. One, two, three, four, five. I have taken five apples and made one group. Again, I have taken five apples and made second group, and then again I have taken five apples and made third group. So this is the right distribution. And if you know your table, then you will clearly understand that five times three or three times five is equal to fifteen. So three groups of five apples will make fifteen apples. option A is the correct option question 27 objects dash are outside the basket 
so we need to find the option which shows the objects that are outside the basket and not inside so we can see the telephone and key these are the two objects those are outside the box and the correct option for that is option c question 28 manish has 38 stones he distributes 23 stones among his friends how many stones are left with him now now this is a subtraction sum because we are reducing from 38 stone so 38 minus 23 is equal to 15 so 15 is the correct answer option a is correct question 29 a bag of rice weighs 5 kg how much do four such bags of weigh, uh, rice weigh now uh, they have given the weight of weight of one bag that is 5 kg imagine you have four such bags so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 four times 5 this much would be the weight of total bags which is equal to 20 so 20 kg is the right answer option c is right question 30 manya has these many crayons her father gives these many more to her how many total crayons she has now so this is an addition so manya has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 crayons and her father gives her six more so in total she has now 13 crayons option b is the correct option next section is achiever section and it carries double marks so you need to be extra cautious about it question 31 identify the number you are given some clues and then you have to guess the right number it is a two digit number so definitely greater than 10 the sum of uh, its digit is 8 that means when we add two digits both the digits of that number we will get the number 8 it lies between 50 and 60 this is the biggest clue because it will be between 51 to 59 any number it can be which sums to digit 8 So uh, the quick thing which you can do immediately is out of four options quickly check which is the number that is falling from 51 to 59 is it option A 53 option B 35 option C 62 or option D 60 it is only one option that is 53 so we got our answer already but let's cross verify by adding 5 and 3 do we get 8 Yes, we do get it. That means option A is the correct option. Thirty-two question number. Which of the following shows the maximum value? That means we have to first calculate all the equations and find out the value of each option, and then tell which is the largest number. So the option A is ninety-one ones minus five tens. that means 91 minus 50 that is equal to 41 option b 18 ones plus 20 ones that means 18 plus 20 which is equal to 38 option c is 8 tens minus 4 ones 8 tens means 80 minus 4 this is equal to 76 and option d is 90 ones minus Eight ones. That means ninety minus eight. That is equal to eighty-two. Now, out of forty-one, thirty-eight, seventy-six, and eighty-two, which is the largest number? It is option D, eighty-two. So, option D has the maximum value, and that is our correct option. Question thirty-three. There are dash horizontal and dash vertical lines. in the given figure okay so kids while you are counting you need to be extra cautious that you do not leave a single corner in this figure so let's start from the top and then keep calculating first we'll calculate the horizontal one starting from the head area 
one two then going to the mouth three four then left ear five six right ear seven eight at the body nine ten inside the body in the square eleven twelve at the triangle thirteen within the circle or not the circle the within the chakra fourteen then at uh, the legs in sixteen then the other one 17 18 at the shoe side 19 and 20 so in total 20 horizontal lines now same we will calculate the vertical lines starting from the head area 1 2 in the outer face area 3 4 lips 5 at the left ear 6 at the right ear 7 8 neck 9 10 stomach area 11 12 square 13 the chakra 14 15 16 17 18 19 at the left leg 20 21 22 23 24 25 at the right one so we got 25 vertical lines so 20 horizontal and 25 vertical line is option d which is the correct option moving to the next question that is question 34 fill in the blanks the candle dash is taller than candle s so let's see which is the taller uh, candle than candle s uh i can see the candle p and candle q these two are uh, these two are the ones those are taller than candle s but the one which is shorter than candle q should be the answer so we got p and q as the two candles those were taller than s now in that also the constant is the answer is the one which is shorter than candle q so we are left with only candle p so at the a place we'll have candle p moving to the b place candle dash is the shortest so which one is the shortest we can clearly see that x candle is shortest so at the b place we'll have x and candle c is the tallest so we need to find out which one is the tallest yes q candle is the tallest one so we got our answer column a p column b q sorry x and column c is q so let's uh, read it once again the candle p is taller than candle s correct but shorter than candle q absolutely correct candle x is the shortest that's true and candle q is the tallest absolutely right so we got p x q as our answer and the option d is the right option question 35 neha jumps one step from one so in the figure we can see that the neha has already jumped one step from one and she reached two and then she jumps two steps more so let's jump 3 4 and then she jumps three steps more let's jump 5 6 7 8 which point will she reach she will reach at 7 option c is the correct answer so that was all for uh, grade 1 2021 I am a question paper and we solved it successfully. I hope you answered all correctly. If not, at least you understood the concept and the rational behind the chosen answers. So keep watching this video again and again. Keep practicing for your Olympiads. 
I'll be posting many more Olympiad videos. But for now, thank you. Happy learning. Bye bye.